This is our Jayco J Flight. Reaching right here on this roof. Overall, from just hitting on it, sounds pretty good. So we're expecting it to be a pretty decent roof deck. Kind of give you an overview. This is where the awning went. So when you, you can see some of this deterioration here, it's starting to fail. That's what happens with rubber. That's why you, it's hard to put a coating on these. You gotta clean all this off to try to get a coating on it because it's not gonna stick and it's a bugger to put on. But some of the things that they're gonna ask you to do if they do a roof over at an RV center is to check all those areas there. See all that fracturing? They're gonna want you to do dob that all up. And the worst part on these ones, I'll show you this. Well, inside there, whoop, out of focus, a little slower maybe. But right in there, there's no caulking. So the water's gonna get in there. Underneath on that other side over here is a screw. So it'll go on the underside here and roll underneath, and that's where it'll leak. But they're gonna want you to fix all this and all that. That's out of your pocket. Same thing with the front. You'd have to check all this. You can see all this cracking right here. And this is that cheap caulking anyways, the Dicor brand. That's all they use on these. You can see again on the air conditioner, no room underneath that at all. And you get all sorts of debris that gets stuck up in there, like leaves, like that one. Makes it hard, you can see all the junk up underneath there, it makes it hard to drain. So by us putting them up on a curb, they actually last longer. There's a problem right there. That's a leak right there, see it? All that water getting right down inside there. It'll leak. If it doesn't leak there, it usually will leak right there at that boot, you can see it. Same thing here. You see there, that's that's real soft. You can see the that's already breached right in there. This is where you'd have a leak right here. Water would just pour down here, even if this boot was on here, it would come down right here and trickle in. We're gonna take get, get rid of that. Looks like somebody's already tried patching all of this. Just to give you an idea, let's see what this is. That doesn't look good at all. We'll find out what that is when we take the roof off. Make sure you got a knife. I'm going to see what it is. Roof's coming off, anyways. Let's see. I'm going to see what, what's causing that. There's some staples in there. Ah, that little protector piece they put on there didn't line up. That's what that is. You can see it had some leaking in here. And we just thought this roof was good. Something's leaked there. You see the stains. It's still wet too. There's some water getting in there. You see how it's delaminated? That's delamination. But if you can hear that, some rotten right, rotting right there going on. But it might have been breached from this getting in there. You can see all these little holes right here. There's one there. There's one right there that is from this piece right here. That's where that's from. So it caused that little leak. Then it leaks in the water. Bring the camera back. The water will weep in this way because this will just suck it right up. But yeah, that's that's wet. It's all wet right there. Looks like a water drop right here. You can see it on my finger. You got another leak around here and all of these. So those are all your potential leaks. So we'll see what it looks like when we tear it all off. And it looks like we may have to do some repairs here. This is awfully soft too. 
all that right there. You can probably hear that. Yeah. We'll see how it's going on there. We'll check it out. Yeah, it's all rotted. Yep, yeah, I need I need at least a sheet right here. I'm guessing. <laughs> you see it all rusting out there. All that water got in there. So we'll take it all off. See what we got, and we'll be back with more exciting RV roofs. All right, we're back. This is our J flight. Look at here. See all these staples? Let's see how high they are. There's another one. You can see them all the way down. We showed you earlier on the uh, this one down here where we noticed that breach right there. We showed you that, but you can see all that rot right there. And then on the other side, we got some issues. This is one of the few antennas I've ever seen that doesn't have issues around it. So that's because when they put these in, there's nothing to protect that roofing, so it just grabbed that rubber, tore it right there, right there. Let's see what we got over here. Same thing, you see how high these staples are. They're just too high. This one isn't even sitting right, this piece right there. Same thing all the way down here. All these staples are way too high. Let's see what we got here. What we're trying to do now is we want to try to get this decking up what we can, see if the insulation is okay. Because if it's wet, then we're going to have to uh, replace it. You can see all this damage right here. But it's all like there's another problem right there where they lapped it over. Right here, here's another one. You can. That's here's a thin piece of wood. You see it catching on there. You almost fit the stick up underneath it. So obviously that'll come off, and we'll put a. We use the stock on here. That's what those uh, what I call buffer bands that we put on. There'll be four inch piece that'll. If you have two sitting up on here, then it'll wrap down to this way, and that'll protect it really nice. This is some of the rubber right here. It's all come off the, the roof. That's what it is. It's that oxidation uh, from the rubber. That's what it is. Looks like they glued this roof deck down. Some of them they don't even glue down. So, that's a plus. But we'll be back. We'll tear this up. We'll show you what we got. Then, check out our new shirts. You gotta turn around. Not that way, no one wants to see your ugly face. <laughs> Ta-da! Our new shirts. This is our J-Flight. So what we're doing now, we originally thought these might have been glued down, but they're not. They just had a couple of screws in them. There's uh, one screw hole there. And then the next one is way up here. And then there's one there. So like all the others, we're not going to put it down like that. We're going to take the sheathing up. That's what we're doing right now, right there, taking the decking up. And then also, as per usual, we got to put these in here so it doesn't chafe the wire. There's a little metal piece in there. Let's see if we can get that. That's supposed to protect the wire so you can't put a screw through it, like through the wall or anything. But then they don't seem to protect the wire itself. You can see it right there. What that usually does is chafe the wire. You can see there's some rust on this wire already right there. So we're going to put those little redheads in there, those little plastic pieces, and we'll check it all throughout the roof considering it's all going to come up and we're, all going, to, we're going to glue it all down for them. So. That's where we're at so far. There's all the rot over there. Took out some of the insulation, and a lot of that is just wet stain now. We sprayed it all down with mold kill, all of that on that side. So on this J flight, we've made the we had these other couple of sheets on the back that were rotted over there. So now we're just getting some glue on here. We're gonna pin down some new sheets. That insulation out of the way there. There you go. We 
You're gonna get it all glued down, get plenty over there. So J flight. So we've got our everything all squared away. Get some new decking down here. See so these are our buffer strips. Those are two pieces that join. To make sure there's no interference into the main roof. You get them on the edge here to protect. If you remember the first part of the video, they had strips on here that were metal strips that came over angle iron if you will that kind of thing just elves and they would when they where the seam was where they lapped together kept poking up and that's what punctured a lot of the roofing so this is going to prevent all that it'll cover up this metal in here too Almost done with our J-Flight. We got the roof completed. And one of the other things we do is we check these slide outs. I'm gonna inspect these here. What we have right in here, that's that's butyl that's in there. And the thing with the butyl is it gets dry. When it gets all dried out, it will start to actually suck water in. It's real dry. You can see how you don't want to cut all this out. You can see how dry it is. So we're just going to leave that there because this is a rubber roof. I don't want to cut into that. So what we're going to do is clean that up. All of this. Once we get it clean, we have a special cleaner we use for rubber. Once we get it clean, we're going to run a piece of tape down here and then we'll seal the tape in. But it also has to be cleaned and primed in order for it to stay. And then we'll seal it. So there's a little bit to do with it. but. You can see all how it's all flaked up right there. We're gonna take a wire brush and clean it. That's what they start to do here. It is the brush. So. Now we're all done. Well, this is our new roof on our J flight. We even made this custom antenna curb. Got our little stand that we put on the back of the AC. Same with the antenna up there, the radio antenna. And then also we've got the ones for the ladder. All that's heat welded in there. All three inches, there's a three inch flange on there. It's all heat welded all the way around. And you can see that on our heat welding video.